Hey everyone, my name is B. Chopra Wilson and here's another photo shoot breakdown. So for this photo shoot, I had the opportunity to do an editorial for the girlfriend from the AARP. For this concept, they wanted us to photograph a series of workouts, but they wanted us to shoot a collection of stills for each workout to turn them into GIFs. So because I knew that I was going to have to be shooting on a continuous shutter, although I typically shoot with strobes, I knew that strobes was going to be a bad idea for a photo shoot like this. Now, like shooting sports, whenever you want to use a high continuous shutter, it's always recommended to use some type of constant light form. So instead of using strobes for this shoot, we decided to use some and light constant lights. Now for this shoot, we actually shot at the Be Fearless Studio Southside location. Now because this room has a short white ceiling, it actually worked out to our benefit because we were able to use our constant lights and just place them in different areas around the room and bounce it off the ceiling to make the lighting look as natural as possible. Whenever you're doing editorial shoots, especially for magazines, oftentimes they like the lighting to look as natural as possible, especially based on the story that you're conveying for the actual editorial. So for this one, because they wanted the lighting to look as natural as possible, we were able to bounce the light off the ceiling to where it just looked like artificial ceiling light and it made the lighting look nice, even, and clean. I use a Canon R5 with a 24 to 70 because we were photographing workouts and we wanted to actually show the environment that the subject was in. So again, whenever you have the opportunity to shoot but to turn stills into GIFs, I highly recommend using constant lights. Constant lights are a game changer. It makes the workflow much easier, especially if you're going to be shooting on a continuous shutter. So I hope that this photo shoot breakdown was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and be on the lookout for the next photo shoot breakdown.